Time to take the long trek all the way back home. Take the long way the home. Way. <laughs> it is really, it's, a, it's really in Thanksgiving mode, or Halloween mode, I mean, all, all of a sudden. Dude, Halloween came and went this year, and I fucking miss it already, and it just didn't exist, and I'm sad. And now <laughs> it's Christmas, and I'm... But I dressed up like Michael. That was fun. That was terrifying. That was the <laughs> scariest thing I could have ever seen. Because I just already had those clothes. <laughs> Spent zero dollars on Halloween. We watched Halloween movies all day. Yeah, that was like fun. The Halloween tree. We found out it was like written by Kurt Vonnegut or something, and it's like, what? No, no, oh, no, Ray, no, Bradbury. no Ray Bradbury, not Ray Kurt Bradbury. Vonnegut. Yeah. But it had uh, Leonard Nimoy in it, remember? Yeah. That was weird. It's funny because I grew up watching that. I never connect. I never knew that connection that it was written by Ray Bradbury. The Fahrenheit 451. And lots of other sci like sci-fi. Hey, you guys are back. Vela, your music was beautiful. So what's the plan now? She's the only one that said anything about it. Yeah. We should go to the radio tower. That way we can play it for everyone to hear. Sounds like a good idea. Lead the way, Alex. That, Alex has joined the party. That's uh, that's see that's an even weirder way of putting it. Yeah. Because last time, like you, because like Alex and the Vel party. Yeah, Alex and Vela have joined the party. Like it made more sense last time. It's mostly just an unnecessary message. Because no one's ready to level because we barely get experience lately. Because story doesn't give you experience. But there's still a lot of story. Only the worst part of the game does. What was that? What was that? The uh, robe, the Ramona Flowers is gone. Oh, did she warp away? Is that what that was? Maybe. Also, who put these? De is this mom? Did mom do all this? Yeah, I'm sure she probably did because you weren't around to help decorate. Because uh oh, the money tree's dead. We killed it. The cheeseburger tree still cheeseburger there. Cheeseburger tree thrives. <laughs> This mystical perennial tree is proof that all of life's problems are solved through architecture. Agriculture. <laughs> Shit. Should I take a burger? Yes. Handful of a beef. Handful of Ew. beef. What a horrible way to describe it. And it's just, yeah. But I do want a double bacon cheeseburger. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've never had one of those uh, in my whole life. Aerith? Praying that the does... altar of seven? What? That does look like Aerith. Like... Even I know that. She... what? Aerith. Who's she? She was so young. She went too soon. Huh. Interesting. What is happening? Interessant. Why is this here? Oh! oh. Park, 1976 to 1999. Why is there a grave for Semi Park in my front yard? And also 76 to 1999? Wait, isn't that... wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. How old is she? Like, 15? Wait. No, she wouldn't no, be. No, 25? 76 would 20, be. 20. 20. Yeah. Oh, I guess, yo, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes, okay, that, that makes sense. I don't know why I thought that was wrong. Called by one who loves her dearly. Oh, well, because, like, our parents are, like, only, like, 10 years older than that. Because you have to think about, like, when the game, like, when the game's timed and everything. It's like, somebody who's 23 in, uh, 1999. <laughs> they were alive in the 70s. Uh, hold on. Goini my young boy girl mim bimnida. I was trying to say that's something backwards, but it's not. I was like, ah, din mib lui gob gyong yep me. Yep, 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 yep. Um, um, I don't know. Maybe it's a language, or maybe it's some. I don't think it's even pig Latin, is it? No. Or a pyong. Is yeah, it's not. Pick Latin, neither. I'm sorry for your loss. Are these Alex? Tragedy! She never even had a chance to be happy. Is this you? Yeah, yeah, that's you still. Those what? Were, I saw your beard poking out from the robes. Why was that happening? Also, hey! Whoa! <laughs> Radical! Oh my god. It's like a fast travel, but you can't turn, you just crash into the wall that's in front of you. That's unfortunate. Well, I mean, is is how much random shit might be around town right now in Halloween mode? But it, but is Alex not even gonna acknowledge the fact he just found a grave for the girl he was looking for? No, he's just over. That it. seems really important. And also the fact that 
Aerith, yeah. <laughs> Aeris was there. I'm kind of burned out on those kinds of references. I don't like them very much. What references to... Someone's just like, oh, look, it's the this the thing from the thing. And they just steal something and put it in their game. And that's the whole... It's like, that's the re that's the thing. Oh. I get random encounters in the field? I forgot. Sheep men die. Yeah. LP to us. You are an abomination. Oh, God. One of them goes really fast. What if they're like a... Uh, like a Full Metal Alchemist, like Nina, when Nina was fused with Alexander. What if those poor souls I, were fused I with did sheep? That's so bad. I didn't know. Terrible. I did so bad. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure your audience doesn't hate you forever for that. <laughs> so I don't really know where I'm going. I'm going to the radio tower, but I don't remember where that is at all. Oh, the radio tower. Fuck. Jesus, it goes fast. Oh, that only hurt me. I'll point out two things. This song is new, isn't it? With all yell the chanting Maybe. people. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. This is for you. Put them out of their misery. I hate that the- that- I hate that combat is both so long, but also takes up so much of my attention that I can't even, like... I, I, I can't even really spend that much time, like... Just like just going on about stuff in and like not paying that much attention to it Like I can't really talk either because it's so in it's so Every it's it's not easy ever. It's always a pain in the ass every moment I'm fucking up constantly even when I try to give it my full attention So I can't even like podcast during these obnoxiously long fights uh, Fuck but do you have any idea where the radio lab? Uh, that's, 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 that's the second thing. I was, you the, you just reminded me. That's the other thing I was gonna say. Um, isn't like, it just to the right of the town you were just in? I don't know. The radio tower. Isn't that where we found uh, Sam Park in the first place? Is it? Isn't that a radio? Isn't that the the um, the? I think that might have been like a broadcasting station. Yeah, because that's where she worked. But like, isn't the radio tower the place where we found the record? What was that place we found the record? Remember that? We were like on top of a hill and there was a little house. And it, I thought that was the radio tower. No, no, we had, But no. that was a different place than the place we found Semi Park. That wasn't... Those were two different places. I don't places. remember that other place you're referring to. Yeah, we we found the, we, I don't remember we, we, we found to, the record. We went to the top of a mountain and went to a, t a small house and picked up a record. And I thought that was a radio tower. I don't know. Let's see if the hint gives me more information. Nope. Go to the radio tower. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, right there, what are you looking at? So I guess it's a... Uh, oh, it's through the I think forest. That was, I think that was like in my backyard. Yeah. Well, that did help, actually. Was it my backyard? It was that? Was it that way? Yeah, Dude, when's even, that fucking... even though my house is all the way down south compared to some of the other stuff, I think my backyard just like stretches all the way to the radio tower. It's confusing. That is confusing. Uh, I did a fight. I did, I did a fight. Yep, he's ready to level. I hope that zine gets done eventually. <laughs> Never. Never. Just like in real life, everyone's promises to you go nowhere. No wonder ha. I'm so disappointed. Ha ha ha. Ha, you fool. Ha ha ha. You had ha, hopes ha, for people. Ha. They will prove you wrong. <laughs> They will disappoint you. I leveled up Michael and only Michael. <laughs> Michael Not and only it. Michael? <laughs> yeah, why'd you even bother? I've just been hungry for levels. <laughs> they haven't been happening lately. Michael is hungry for power. Even though I just used LP Toss. Why are the, the, bold, the boulders regrew? Yeah, that's not how those work. <laughs> You know, uh, apparently if Alex is so good at skateboarding and he's so good at uh, playing guitar and whipping his hair, why doesn't he just do that for a living? I hate it. <laughs> this music. Yak is coming. Oh, Y2K is coming. Oh my gosh. I, I saw Yak also and I was like... Yeah, that's an asshole way to write it too. Is this the, uh, is this like the, the labyrinth with the Minotaur in it? Is there a Yak in here that's gonna come kill us? Like, Isn't that symbol from something? Probably. I don't know. 
feel like it's something from like Zelda or Fire, em or Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy or something. It's a symbol of the occult. Da dang. Da dang. Da dong. Go. <laughs> These look like taffy. They like do. <laughs> or bacon. <laughs> I'll go with taffy because I like that more. I hate that the left bumper menu like just has problems and struggles to stay on screen. With I hate this dumb cat. What is wrong with you? There we go. Why was it not working at first? Maybe do you think that this music signifies like we're we're getting to is this like the end of the game? Like is this Yeah, like this house. Okay, I do remember this now. What dude this place this guy does not want solicitors at all. <laughs> the fucking mazes outside I mean, he's of the radio house. tower. Abandoned one at, the, at that for everyone. Time is measured differently. No. Yeah, I was gonna say not, not that's not what the word measurement sound means. I mean you could say perceived. Like time myself, feels differently for everyone. It was in days since Sammy had been missing. Jesus Christ, get a life. For Michael, it was days until school began and he lost his freedom. Didn't you like just kiss a balloon Vela? Like what a like you're fucking <laughs> double double timing. No, we did we uh, well, <laughs> with the balloon Vela. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Vela, loser. Time was measured in music. A what? careless and overwhelming existence. <laughs> Where the oral world carry more weight than the physical world. Uh, you just fucking... Time is measured. Well, I guess music, you do measure music in time. He's just really heavily telegraphing on Vela how her, she perceives the world. I know from everything Claudia about Rory, you. It was days since their siblings vanished from their lives. That makes more sense than everybody else's. Everybody else's is stupid. Also, I like that Michael's so fucking boring and self-centered that... He measures, like, everyone else has, like, tragedies and other things going on with their life, and he's like... School's starting soon. I'm scared. <laughs> hey, he has to go back to school. Oh, no. For Chandra, <laughs> I think it was days until she could escape counting days since her little brother's disappearance. What? Why isn't she just the same as the other two? Yeah. Why is she a different category? And why do you... Also, you barely know her. Why are you pretending to, to know how she perceives time? Because this is the, this is the best... Like, this is the most friends he's ever had like he doesn't Tragically. this is the most like friend points he's ever had with anyone this is the most time he's spent with any anybody consistently because no one else can stand him for this long so this is like the furthest he's ever gotten into a friendship it means a lot to him when you put this up next to like night in the woods you really realize how nothing his friendships are <laughs> uh, mean, it's an entire game about friendship and and all like the, the the ups and downs and struggles and like the complexities and texture to all that. And this one's just like, I barely know these people's names. Or <laughs> They're my friends. If you look at your own life and the people that you've that you just know in your normal life, you yeah. realize that Alex's perception of what friendship is is really not very good <laughs> either. But for all of us, time moved at the same rate, calculating days until we found a way to feel important. What? Uh I feel, I feel like, like you're projecting again. And also, I feel like those two statements are contradictory. Because what yeah. if someone feels important before another person does? <laughs> you're, everyone, you're not really only, moving at the same everyone rate. Everyone only cares about how time works in terms of when they'll be important. Want to run that by, by me again, Alex? I was always important. Should time I doesn't exist it? for me. <laughs> I was important since the day I was born. Yeah. We've come this far. It'd be stupid not to do it. Yeah, why, why do you think we're here? I'm ready, guys. I feel like something exciting is about to happen. All right, Mello. One of us will die. Hopefully this I hope is a mistake. I hope it's Michael. I hope it's Michael. I hope it's Michael. <laughs> Please. Worse comes to worse. We made the world a little better with some beautiful music. I always thought it was worse. Who's even going to hear this? Is it worse what comes to worse? What station is worst? it playing on? I thought it was worse comes to worse. Like you just repeat worse. If worse comes to worst with a T at the end. I don't know. I thought it was worst comes to worst. I don't know why. I don't know why. It might be worst comes to worst because worst is implied to be worse than worse. Yeah, that is true. But, I uh, learned something new today. Wow, this game taught me something. Wow, that's kind of weird. The um, you even like the song. Nobody Claudio. knows this broadcast is going to happen, so they're not tuned to the station. Also, Claudia doesn't even like this who is, song. Who are we broadcasting this to? It's not like an internet upload where you just put it out into the world and people could just find it. Like, they have to be listening right now to the correct station that isn't being used. What kind of weirdo has their t their radio turned on to uh, between stations right now? Yeah, isn't it like nighttime? Just do it already. Yes, it's also nighttime. <laughs> I think. Or AM. Well, okay, so it looks like it's 10, 10, 10. Can we hear the song? 
What? <laughs> What's this? It's one of these crazy people listens to Number Station thinking that they have government secrets and stuff. Wait, this isn't a... This isn't an RV? That can't fit. Uh, no. Is it bigger on the no. inside? It's... <laughs> Mm. Oh, her eyes are open. Did we wick her up with the song? Oh, I'm her. Uh, huh. She has a big anime sword. The Ascent. She's the Essentia 2000. Am I expected to be better at this game by now? <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm really bad. Uh, 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 whoa. This is 100% of your energy. Self destruct. That's 50% of your energy. Do it. Wow. Ah, she has a chest gatling gun that shoots quote unquote missiles. But wasn't there two enemies? I, th I thought there was two. Maybe is there four? Hey, I did it. <laughs> you know she's extreme because she has a tear in her dress. That was the most passe like uh, dodge I've ever seen. It's very like ugh. nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Everyone knows that the bigger the sword. What happens the if I die? What if I'm sort of at the end? Do I die? Am I killing myself right now? Dude, it would be really funny if you like if you do this battle and then this character never comes up again and you so don't ever know the I significance die. of it. Like there was no significance to any of it. I'm getting worse at that. No, I have sustained. What's your QT? Press A and color section to build power. What? Oh, there? Or... Oh. What? These are really incomprehensible the first time you see them. I better dodge these or I die. Nope. Oh man, you barely missed that. Recharge and... Is she unkillable? It just said your friend... No, game over. It said your friends are dead, is how it ended. It just said your friends are dead. <laughs> do you feel it? Well, do you feel it? <laughs> 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 Alright, let's not use her superpowers. Wow. <laughs> Exciting. I think one of the only things I how I, good at this game I am. I like... Anyway, let's use my superpowers. Kill myself. Oh, alright. After scissor re- what? <laughs> you don't even blow up. You have, you have to do the five turn recharge first and then you explode. What the fuck? Sensation. What the fuck? Do you feel that tingling sensation from my asthma voice? It is a very good asthma voice. I wonder if, uh. I don't like that she says that every time. Sentia 2000. Anyway, this is my Final Fantasy sword. I think I'm supposed to... I think it's what you said for the last oh, one. Oh, I see it. Fuck, it's really hard. It's hard because you can't see it. You have, to, you have to press A based on the green markings on the outside of each hole. Oh. Yeah, it's really fucking incomprehensible at first. No one will succeed at that at first attempt because it's such a complicated visual and you're like, what's happening? What am I doing? Just watching you wow. do that makes me like very focused. I can't even do the third one. Dodge! Witness. Look at me! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was gonna say, one of the only things I really like is the design of those monsters, but they're totally a ripoff from uh, Earthbound. Oh, it's, it's going to different speed. Uh, yeah, it probably increases. That's so hard. You know, they're just they're just the Starmen from Earthbound. Like a hundred percent. And like why are we fighting in a giant chessboard? Starmen no floating in the sky. It's so hard. I just wanna play LP Toss. Or preferably skip every fight. This is a like this is frustrating me because something about the combination of audio cues and the music and the fucking weird ass background is giving me like a bad trip. Like, oh, five. Still not very good. The, the, the noises that, they're, that, they're, that they make is ups they're upsetting me. Yeah, there's like Japanese singing in the background. It sounds like maybe I can't. There's too much noise for me to, t to actually hear the vocals enough to know the, what, if I can understand the words or not. 
and there's explosions and miss dodge i have sustained damage it's like a lot god i'm bored <laughs> taking too long and i'm bored yeah why don't you get out of this <gasps> place oh it keeps going it keeps going after the first ring oh my gosh keith you silly jesus I was like, I did it, I won, and it's like, it just kept going, and there was just more. It's hard. That was a long pause, I thought it froze. I don't know if, like, everyone has this, but, like, yes, yeah, so, like, sometimes I'll just get overwhelmed very easily. And like, By just excessive stuff on screen and things. Yeah. Or just too much feedback. I was watching a movie on Netflix the other day. And it was that... Uh, I, I can't relate. <laughs> you can't relate? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what, is this, what is this live experience? The um, It was that uh, I'm thinking of ending things movie because it was written by the fucking guy that did... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stressful. Being John Malkovich and then also uh, adaptation and whatnot. Yeah. And I watched it and I had a terrible oh. time. It just stressed okay? me out so bad. What just happened? And that that fight stressed I... me out. <laughs> I didn't like it. Holy shit! Did you guys see that? Yeah, a robot fought a Starman on chessboard. Why? Why did they all see that? They're really freaking out about. They all saw having, just seeing something. Well, <laughs> Except Michael, who is completely the same as always. <laughs> <laughs> as, as if carved out of marble, he is motionless <laughs> and unmoved. See what exactly? He didn't see, he didn't see it. it. He didn't see it. He doesn't deserve to. You guys to. put on the record and went into an epileptic fit. You guys didn't. You didn't help them. It would have been funny in any other context. No, it's not. No, oh, just those two. I, I did see it. It was amazing. It would be funny, Chandra. Was the was he actually had epilepsy? I've been dreaming about. What the fuck? Woman made of plastic? Yeah, that was a distressing line. <laughs> That's a woman like, made of plastic I've like, been dreaming about. You look like about. you were having a seizure. It would have been funny in a different context. <laughs> like, what? But it looks like, it doesn't look like they even tried to help them. Like, you think they're not even like, are you okay? You guys were freaking out. Like, yeah, they're just like, aha, it was funny. Like, <laughs> dude. What does that mean, Alex? Woman made of plastic. Why is she made of plastic, though? She's like an android or something, but she's like plastic. Like an action figure. That's happened to you before? Yeah, like once or twice. It's been a recurring dream. Or I something. thought it was just like the love doll he but wanted the to buy. the that were behind the camera, she destroyed them so easily, and and that wasn't Banish she was using. Not that not that easily. It took fucking forever. Do you think she's still in danger? I died twice. She was stuck in the van. If she could destroy the entity so easily, I don't think there's much danger she could be in. So she's she is in a van. But we need to find her. That's why the entity who was living with me had us play the record, right? <laughs> Vela's so short, he like, looks over her head. I agree. You're right. But what's actually going on here? Yeah, he's not making eye contact with anybody. What is she? I... You okay? Yeah, I am. But... Forget it, never mind. I, I, I can't really explain it yet. It's just a feeling. Give me some time, and maybe I'll be able to put it into words. What if it's more than a feeling? <laughs> so, what's the plan here? Do we just go and try and find the van this mysterious android is in? If only we could have seen the outside of the van. We did. Then we'd at least know what we're supposed to be looking for. You saw the inside and thought it was a van? Yeah, I, I never would We saw the outside, that's how we knew it was a van. Because we would never thought it was a van just from seeing the inside. Do we currently have nothing to go on? Why is why I want to have a party? Where's my party? Dolly is your only Wait, this, this party is head now. To the radio tower. I did. Uh, what do we do? It's locked. I'm assuming it just hasn't updated it because they like there's nowhere else we can go. Oh. Hey, Alex. Do you have a minute? What's up? I was wondering if we could go somewhere and talk for a bit. There's been something on my mind, and. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's gonna confess to us. He's gonna <gasps> confess to us. Sure. Yeah, you should see what he wants. Thanks. He's gonna give us his love note and tell us how much he's loved us this whole time, and we're gonna be together. So, what's wrong? We've traveled a long distance just now. Well, I don't know. I've just had a lot on my mind lately, and... Kiss. Kiss. 
Where's the kiss option? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a kiss option for Bella. Why isn't there a kiss option now? Yeah. <laughs> Wait for her to speak. Yeah, take don't don't off. hurry him al along. Like that's not asshole. waiting. That's telling him to to take his time. He looks angry well, again. I've just been really depressed lately. Thinking about my sister, my parents, just how much life is going to change from now on. My sister was a lot younger than me, but she really was my best friend, and now she's gone. I feel aimless. We had plans, things we wanted to do in the future, places we wanted to go, movies that we wanted to see, new games to play together, and now none of that will happen. Sometimes I wish... You know what I mean, right? Bad things happen, but life has to move on, right? You don't have your sister anymore, but you have all of us. Michael, we can't Oops. replace you. <laughs> <laughs> you have all of us, Michael and no one else. <laughs> if you had become a soul survivor, then we never would have met you, and that's really depressing. I'm, I'm not the best with these sort of things, but basically I'm saying I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> This is awkward. It's hard. Your brain, because they make you press A every time. So as soon as your brain gets wired to just like press A when you hear a long pause, you're like, okay, time for the next one. And you're like, fuck, shit. I'm also noticing that uh, I don't have a good sense of where, which way Michael's or uh, uh, Alex's hair naturally splits or which way it's normally facing because his sprite flips. Uh, like his portrait flips based on which side of the uh, he's of the screen he's on. And they didn't draw like one. They didn't, they didn't draw him from the other side, so it's just always going away from the camera. So you have to like review the three D model to rem remember what, which way his hair is going. Well, but but you know that one's wrong because you have to follow. Like, or or, or, or you should look at his shirt. That's always what I. Oh yeah, because his shirt's backwards too. Yeah, so like the if you ever see it like that, where the shirt text is backwards, which seems like a stupid idea if you're gonna just take your your model and you're just gonna flip it. Yeah. Why would you put text on the shirt? I feel like you would like try to go out of your way to make a symmetrical character if you're gonna have to deal with them flipping constantly on their portrait. Yeah, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Let's go find the, the least of this game's problems. Try to get Roy. Try to get. Oh what? my what? god! <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh yay, yay, yay! Yay, cute, cute! Cute, but not cute, because there's Alex in it. I didn't but... even slight. I was. <laughs> I was not oh. prepared for that to actually come up. Oh! <laughs> hey! No! Yeah, don't do that again. <laughs> Sorry, I. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> It's not like you're not cool. I'm just not into you that way. <laughs> Dude, I do. Okay. I do have to give this game props. They gave us the option. And <laughs> really? I appreciate I wasn't ready for that, that at they all. actually gave us the option. I kind of wish yeah, we I tried to kiss Bella and he, she rejected us because I would have loved to see that. My, no, well, I didn't want to press it out of fear that he actually got his way. Because that that, that would have upset me. You're right. I've never loved a woman before. What? Not romantically, at least. Well, you just tried to you, you pretty, just tried to kiss you Mello. You seem pretty so. obsessed with two of them. I love my mother, and I love my sister, and my cousins, my female friends. I love them, but not in the way that's filled with a romantic sense of love. I've had seven girlfriends throughout college and high school. None of them lasted long, and I never minded when things were over. Something funny happened that night when I went to bed. I had a dream again. About Rory. <laughs> 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 Why he doesn't care what all of his relationships end. Yes, it was about the android, but she wasn't trapped inside a moving man. She was free and human. In my dream, I knew her very well. We'd been together for a long time. We weren't old. We didn't get old. I knew inside my heart how well she treated me. I knew, for the first time, she was the only woman I'd ever treated well. Inside my dream world, she entered my dreams. Wow. What a sense. <laughs> she entered my thoughts. She filled up every part of my mind, even the parts I wanted to hide away. She was like the old Bruce Lee quote, be like water. She was my water, rushing into all the cracks. I don't think that's how Bruce Lee meant it. No, I don't think that's even... A it was about fighting. <laughs> I don't think that quote made any sense in this context. No. Nothing could be hidden from her, but I didn't mind. Wait, he's talking she about the robot? Judge. She didn't have a place to judge. Are you obsessing over three women now? And Rory? <laughs> she, unlike all other humans, was aware of human flaws. 
She didn't pretend we didn't think about hatred, violence, jealousy, sex. I was a person. She got that. Now if only she was too. She is and always will be. A woman. You haven't even year. met this girl yet. I you just dreamt sense. about her. Trust me, I do. How can a woman made of plastic be loved so much by a real flesh and blood human? Well, ask. <laughs> Where those, do you find about anime fans? Yeah, I was gonna say, what about all those little plastic all figurines? All those 2D girls. I woke up the next waifus. morning in a cold sweat. Waifus for life What was I feeling? It was like a warm light surrounded me. <laughs> ba dum ba dum. <laughs> Let's see, uh, he's feeling the doki doki. <laughs> Someone flipped a switch in my brain, and I now understood something I wasn't capable of understanding before. I felt a weird joy inside me. Like I had a secret no one else was allowed to know. A secret that was meant only for my ears. And it was the android who told me. But it couldn't. I tried to recall the dream, but it was already slipping away to the periphery of my mind. I couldn't remember specific scenes, but I could remember the feeling the dream had given me, and I knew they wouldn't be leaving me. I thought about Michael, then Rory, then Claudio, then Chandra. Then Rory again. I had no desire to see any of them. Except Rory. I thought about Vela, then Sammy, and I felt weird. Like I had done something wrong, as if I had wronged them somehow in the dream. And just like that, suddenly I needed to see Vela. But why? Why did I suddenly have the urge to apologize? No, no, that wasn't it. Thank her? No, I, I don't know why. But I needed to find her and do it alone. All right. So uh -oh. now at this point, the story we're just kind of meandering randomly <laughs> because of dreams he has where he has like I have emotions about Vela, but I'm not even really clear on what I want to do. I was, does this go there so the story can continue? Hooray. I wonder if he would just pick the one that gave him, like, who reciprocated its feelings. I wonder if that's, like, what it would come yeah. down to. The first one who likes me back wins. Oh, no. So not enough experience. All right, message board time. As is tradition. As is tradition. As it is written, as it shall be. We gotta finish it eventually. Be -do, be -do. I really do, I don't miss this. Do we have any mail? Mm, that's all old. Chuck yeah. the monkey. Chuck <laughs> the monkey. Monkey gets pert. <laughs> I love that what? song. Ghost in a floppy disk. It's a Peter Gabriel song called Shock the Monkey. And it makes me laugh a little bit. Expensive dick. We finally got a CDR <laughs> last week. But when I put it in, I couldn't figure out how to fit it in without taking out the A drive. So I took that out. Only problem is, last night I wanted to play Doom and I had installed it for roller and I had installed it for Roller Coaster Fuck Tycoon. Yes, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I guess Fuck I, I yes. Mean, uninstalled it for Roller Coaster Tycoon. One of my favorite games. I didn't want to uninstall that, but it took so long to install in the first place, so I was driving outside when I see an abandoned computer on the side of the road. So I take it, and it's gonna be a fucking creepy creepypasta. Creepypasta, yeah, of course it is. So I take it, I open it up, not bad specs, 24 megabytes of memory, oh baby. <laughs> 300 megabytes of hard drive space. Is that good? Of, no. <laughs> <laughs> this game's probably bigger than 300 megabytes. Ah. Uh. And a video card that I couldn't quite figure out what it was. So I'd opened it up to figure the specs, and when I decided to stick the floppy drive, so when I get it all set up, I find my Doom floppy and insert it. My, my insert my floppy. My Doom floppy. <laughs> my Doom floppy. <laughs> and then the strangest fucking thing happens. I shit you not, blood, dark and shining, comes pouring out from the bottom of the computer. I start screaming. My parents came in, and they start to look at me like I'm crazy. I eventually calmed down and explained what happened. They told me I had to stop lying, and they took my computer away for a week. That's not a good response from a parent. So I was pretty depressed. When I went back into the room to sit at the desk and pretend to be playing on it... <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend to play his computer? Why? What a fucking lunatic. <laughs> I get, do you not have a book or... A pencil or something? Just anything else? 
I noticed the trash can, so I walked over to it, and look what I found. Look at all that blood. <laughs> it was removed by the mods. <laughs> and be a fertile boogeyman. Yeah. Dude, that is so gross. No one wants to see that shit. I always hate it when people elongate. They're, they're out of word long, but they elongate the part that isn't vowels. Oh, I hate that too. It's like blood. <laughs> yeah. For an expensive dick, he doesn't. Um, he lives with his parents and they can take his computer away. And he also doesn't have enough hard drive space for two whole video games. He must so be. He must not be getting his, a lot his of. His name uh, seems to be full of shit. Well, maybe he, maybe his dick is expensive, so no one pays yeah. for it, and so he doesn't actually have money. It's just that the advertised yeah. price is too high. <laughs> and, to be, and to be clear, that was probably that was. I'm sure that was plenty of space back then. Like, I think probably inst installing the entirety of Doom might be like 16 megs or something. But uh, nowadays, that is nothing. Not the case. You quickly blow well past that watching like a YouTube video half the time. Mm. Not even funny. But go see, uh, but got to see tampons, which were an expensive dick's sister. Ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's a picture of his sister's tampon. What the fuck? Well, no, no, no. I think it's a. Jo I think it's a bunch of blood in the trash can, and I think like elastic, elastic louse is making a joke, saying th about his sister. <clears throat> or he just like genuinely, like just posted pictures of his sister's tampons. Oh, that's an invasion of her privacy. How are, uh, how are you posting this if they took your computer away? My virgin eyes, I'll never forgive, he'll never forgive you, expensive dick. Lulled. <laughs> Lulled. Absent fibber. Are, they all have the same naming scheme, don't they? Expensive dick, fertile boogeyman, elastic klaus, elast, elastic louse. Timely Grouch, Genuine Minger? Genuine Minger, Absent Fibber. Well, it's all adjective and then yeah. uh, noun. Would they all pre-agree to have the same naming scheme? And why am I taking this long to notice? Ver wait, Veriformer. Veriformer. Who's that again? That's uh, Michael, mm. I think. Uh, we, can check the, we can check the journal. It's behind the box. Because <laughs> the box is in the way now. Let me uh, reference my handy dandy notebook. I think Michael is Veriformer. Uh, yes, that is Michael, yep. unfortunately for us all. This is where most of his dialogue is. is, is oh, yeah, <laughs> look, look, how, uh, look how much he talks online. Jeez Louise. I've been seeing this girl. She isn't Ew. my girlfriend yet. <laughs> Bad start. But I'm working on it. She's cool, but her family's really weird. They don't really talk when I go over her house. How is her brother has something <laughs> wrong with him? Some form of autism, I guess. She tells me her brother is really into making uh, computer games. I said, uh, I said that it was cool, trying not to come off really impressed. Although I was. Apparently, he wants to make a game that feels like the game itself is possessed by a spirit. I didn't really know what that meant. A few months go by, still not much. Like, still not much like with the girl. Good, you're so good at this. But enjoying her platonic company. So, on Wednesday, the girl invites me over to play the game, and we booted it up on his computer. Game runs from DOS, graphics are shit, but there was something there. Something that cut really deep. In the game, nobody else knows that your character is under a curse, except for him. He opens up with bold white text on the screen, You have been cursed. The curse is super weird because you wouldn't expect it to really be that big of a deal. Whenever you go to pick up a phone in the game, you see this this screaming hiss in your ear. You this this. Okay. It was really cool. The kid had to s set it up so it only came out of one speaker. Felt really realistic. Everyone in the town was afraid of your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> because they all know he... He haunted by a rambunctious ghost. But when you get into a fight with your uncle who is raising you, the ghost comes out and curses to you. Your character's rival is trying to stop a, a mer, mer person, person who wants to end an old feud with the town's mayor. You know the only way to break the curse is to get the ghost to fucking wall of text to move, to move over to the mer person. Only thing is, your rival will likely kill him before you can get him. 
And every time you try to leave your home to continue the quest, people keep calling you on your telephone and you can't hear what they're saying because there's just screaming that hiss at you. Hiss, hiss, hiss. And this is where it gets really interesting. Ordinary people can't know that your character had a child with a giant dragon hunter. <laughs> what? Only a select few know that your character can sense spirits. Eventually, the town starts to suspect that your character is having an affair with an ethereal being. And things get really crazy. Uh, fuck. I finished playing I the finish, game. I hate scrolling. I, I finished playing the game. It was about 35 minutes long, and I realized that I've broken out in a cold sweat. I haven't really been able to stop thinking about the game. So anyway, I go home and I... Now you're going to add a new paragraph down there? Fuck you. So anyway, I go home and I plan on calling the girl later that night. When I go to pick up the phone, I swear I hear that hiss. It's really faint, but my heart starts racing. And I can't call her. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. And now every time I hear the phone ring, I panic. Of course, I know the game wasn't possessed or anything like that, but the anxiety it created was real. I'm going to try to call her soon and see if, she, if, he's, if he's cool with me putting it up on the site. I think guys really like it. <laughs> it's caused some sort of psychological damage to me, so I should spread it around. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show everyone else. <laughs> uh, annual headed. See, that one's different. Uh, that That's still just the two word thing. Yeah, I suppose so. That game sounds cool. I hope you get to post it soon. Keep us updated. Sorry you didn't get any action, Veriformer. Jesus. Well, I'm pretty stoked. Has the hissing gone away? Yeah, the hissing went away. I called her and she said she'd ask her brother. I'll update you guys if he ever gets back to us. That game Never. seemed amazingly Confusing. elaborate. A weird game a cutie's, a cutie's brother made. Cutie. A cutie. Fuck you. <laughs> the, uh... Uh... He described like way too many things for like a half an hour game. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. You like, beat it in half an hour. There, you apparently like, had a kid with a dragon, so. You got a, yeah, you have a curse that no one can know about. There's where you a can't mer person. The phone. Somebody's dealing with mer people. You fight your uncle who's also possessed by a ghost. And I don't know if they meant that they curse at you or that's how they curse you. Was he giving the retroactive explanation of how you get cursed? But then you had a dragon slayer baby. <laughs> Which. Did you bake the baby or did the dragon slayer have the baby? I feel like that's like a, a an unwanted extended break from being able to dragon slay. It's like yeah, really impacts their bottom line. That, that ruins your career. Yeah. Who's raising and who takes care of the baby now? Did they dragon slay with like one of those like baby hammocks like on their body to hold the baby, or are you taking care of the baby but that didn't mention get mentioned anywhere in the story? Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone's got to watch the baby while the, while the yeah. one of the parents is baby hunting. If anything, or being baby a, hunting, being dragon a hunting. Parent would cause the anxiety more than a hissing phone. It's like, yeah, oh no! I, I think the I, real curse I is the baby. kid that you didn't want. <laughs> That's yeah. the real curse. That sentence came out of nowhere and never came up again. So I'm like, what? <laughs> I do. I, I have here? seen some games where the whole point is that the game itself is like uh, has a ghost in it, and I, I do like those games. I think Ooh. they're fun. <laughs> Bless Strange you, behavior dog. From my roommate. My dog sneezed. Everyone, I got to congratulate her. Good job. Good you job did. on the good sneeze. Good job. She's like showing her belly now. <laughs> she did good. She knows she did good. Yay. <laughs> okay. Uh, strange behavior by my roommate. This is su superb pudding. I think I voiced last time. <clears throat> I think my roommate may be possessed. Like, seriously. I come home and I find him kicking my cat. My beautiful, wonderful, perfect cat. So I asked him, what in the name of all that is holy is wrong with him? And he just starts screaming at me. Words I couldn't understand. I think it was Latin. <gasps> as far as I know, he doesn't speak Latin. So what do you guys think? How likely it is, is it that he's been possessed by Satan? Is that all he did? Screaming in Latin and kick your cat? Fucked up and not really a sign of possession. Did his head spin or did he vomit any weird juices? He has been really late on his rent lately, and he's built this weird altar in his closet to the almighty US dollar. He became very depressed because his co-workers all died in a tragic freak accident that may or may not have been his fault. I think he murdered them all. Duh fuck? What kind of freak accident? He worked in a lab doing research and then some some seal or something broke and everyone died oh? except for him <laughs> it was traumatizing i think the trauma from the event caused his soul to become broken so he could have his soul entered by the devil thoughts guys devil penetration that's all that is <laughs> devil, pre ends. devil penetration 
Am I crazy or... Okay. Oh. What? Okay. I was just wondering if they... I, I, I forgot about the blue titles at the top. So I was like, did they just suddenly have a blue title but that weren't weren't there before? Like at the top of the thread, it's like saying the title. I was wondering if there was an inconsistency. Because there are other ones, but that is not it. If you uh, started speaking Latin and start kicking my dog... <laughs> That's what Latin sounds like. <laughs> it just sounds like that. Aramaic. <laughs> what if one time the cat just doesn't come back? Work. Good. Whee! <laughs> nice. This is useful, but I cannot aim it, which is frustrating, because I, I would wish it was just a genuine fasting, faster travel form. Whenever I have to backtrack. Oh, that, that, that. No! Okay. <laughs> so that was going pretty good. But I went too far. <laughs> the chicken music's playing again. It's good. It's done. Oh, it's now. It's, I said that right when it's over. But like, the, the town music sounds like a bunch of Muppet chickens going. That sounds so wonderful. I wish my town had that. <laughs> no loitering. Ask him where Vela is. Where is one of the girls that I'm in God love with dang. for some reason? It's always the same, like three kids. And they all and are the angry girl. They're triplets. Find your own. Oh, name. she looks like. Wait, she looks like Gaz. Yes. 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 Gaz. 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 It's Gaz. Gaz. Yeah. Yeah. Yaz is from Doctor Who. I love Gaz. Yeah, from Invader Zim. Yeah, no, uh, actually, her and Dib. I have a big crush on Dib. But, like, uh, Gaz is super cute. I love Gaz. Kiki, your new oh, name is okay, Gaz. She's back. Okay, I was like, oh, if she's not here, I'm gonna have to check places and I'll be very confused. What is this, uh, gathering of children? <laughs> Crouchy woman. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. You've matured a lot lately. I think your friends are a good influence on you. I've matured? Do you know me, lady? I don't know. I saw you last night. That's buying, creepy. Buying drugs by the female outhouse. <laughs> ah, you look just like the moon. What? What the fuck? The sun looks strange. <laughs> the moon looks strange. I think something's wrong with the sky. Actually, the sun looks like you. Well, you're uglier. <laughs> don't don't stare at the sun, child. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Don't count to me. Don't count to one. Oh, don't count to one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's not safe. If you do, the world will end on January 1st. I don't want the world to end. Or do I? <laughs> <laughs> Both you and yeah. Andrew keep going, reverting back to that in laugh moments. It's the the man dark laugh. Well, for some reason, I just I just thought of the Amanda show for a second, oh, and I thought that's about a mistake. Uh, uh, what was what, what's her name? Something. It's something. Tank. Don't you mean that you've thought of the Manda 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 show? Um, Penelope Taint, which is like a really what? <laughs> her name's Penelope Taint. That's not okay. No, well now it's not, but I think back then that didn't mean anything. So it's funny now that her name is Penelope Taint, but she's Amanda's number one fan. Number one fan, please! Oh no. I wanna go, I wanna watch I love that. The fall, but sometimes I hate it. Does that make sense? That's how <sighs> of course it doesn't. most people feel about everything. Probably because I get so sad to see it go. Of course it doesn't, of course, even of course it does. People have more than one emotion or during a season, they're long. <laughs> <laughs> I like Thanksgiving, that's always fun. Pumpkin pie. But like, Christmas? That's always depressing. The celebration always makes me feel uncomfortable. There's too like, many Jesuses are you everywhere. Are really happy? Or are you just pretending because it's Christmas? Yes, I love this foot massager. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. I love the fall too. It always meant seeing my friends again. But I guess starting school again sucks. You know, I haven't thought about school since like last winter, or spring, whenever it was. Cause you're not in, aren't you done with school? Didn't he get his degree? Isn't it over? Uh, I got some useless <laughs> degree and I was like, but mom, I don't want to get a job now that I'm done with school. Yeah, and mom's like, I'm in debt because of your schooling, son. Yeah. Cause you had... Oh, you get those stress dreams about school. It was a test today, oh my God. 
I'm in sunny. I'm in my underwear. <laughs> I don't miss tests or anything. I never had that I underwear missed, dream. Uh, I was good at school. Uh, I'm not a genius, but I'm great at writing, philosophy, psych. I don't think you're good at any of those things. That helps real life, though. Maybe I think dreaming. I have a lot of dreams. Things I want to happen. Psych, psych is useful for everyday life, but yeah. I think you are so bad at dealing with other human beings that you cannot possibly be good at psych. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It also <laughs> makes people obnoxious at, at times. It makes them like obnoxiously smug about their idea that they like have like decoded people and understand know like all the tricks to them. That that's I feel that way about philosophy. I think I think he seems like he would be a philosophy major because he's kind of an asshole. Yeah. I, I just I think that uh. I think uh, ContraPoints made a really good point about how like all philosophers tend to be like well-off, rich white guys throughout history because they didn't have to worry about anything else, and so they could just focus on like. So it's like a really specific and consistent perspective. Because like it's like they didn't have to worry about uh, dealing with the things that philosophy is about. They because they could just sit in their their lofty ideas. And like daydream about like what the meaning of life is because they didn't have to actually struggle or work hard or like yeah. be be repressed by anyone. Yeah, God, I'm just thinking about the school thing. Like, I it was like a few years before I stopped like occasionally waking up in like a panic. Like, oh my God, I, oh my God, I need to, do, to die. There's something I need to do. Like, it's just like this this constant sense that you've like because you're always worried that you've like forgotten something. Like you try to keep your planner uh, filled out or whatever, but like it's it always feels like there's just enough going on, especially when you have like seven classes at the same time, that like you could have always just forgotten about something that you just didn't take care of and that would like stress me out. And so like I would like wake up with that stress like years later and then remember I'm not even in school. <laughs> like just the feeling that I've forgotten something that I need to take care of and, it, it, and like different versions that still happen for different things, but it was specifically like it would still happen as like a phantom pain from school, basically. Like years after it was over. Ugh. Because I, I did care about doing a good job, it's just that I didn't have to try that hard. But I still had to do it. <laughs> like I had to still do my homework and do my assignments and re do the reading and whatnot. I wouldn't study for tests, but I would read like the chapter, obviously. It's really hard to like fake taking a history test. <laughs> like, whoever <laughs> pick things well I did it <laughs> it's like no you have to I still have to read at least once I uh no I mean I think I think like there is a certain type of stress you get during school that carries over to day-to-day -day life yeah when there are things that you need to do and like I'm, I'm afraid of like taxes and like the DMV and like the government coming to like take oh, yeah. my things away being audited or something I think everybody's had an experience where like they just the realized police. that like they just weren't like they just like weren't paying something they were supposed to pay or they just didn't do some you, step they were supposed to do. Your or auto like, pay expired because your, like, your, your debit card expired and you forgot to switch over yeah. your auto pay and now you don't have car insurance and now if you get pulled over the cops going to arrest you. Like, like there's certain things like that that just yeah. like freak you out. Like somebody online tried to log into your car, your bank account but oh, failed no. and they never succeeded anyway. But even though they didn't succeed anyway, you're still going to like reset you're all the stressed. information and cancel the cards automatically and so they're sending you new cards but now you have to remember every single thing that's ever charged by that but now, now you have an ex now you've accidentally not paid your car insurance for three months and didn't realize it because you didn't get the notification. And uh, you thought you were doing well with money, but it turns out you actually you, weren't because and because <laughs> and because you're and because you didn't get your insurance. I mean, you paid for it. You now have to go back and fix that problem because you can't do your registration because your registration requires you to have proof of insurance, and your insurance is broken because of the card thing. And you're like, oh, and you also fuck, are getting I charged. I didn't even realize a problem was happening. Charged a and late now fee. Now it's like three problems. <laughs> now, dude, like that kind of stuff. Like that's the kind of stuff that freaks me out. I'm like, Ugh, or like, uh, like yeah. I need to go get my blood pressure tested. <laughs> like, you know, just like. Normal yeah, I'm, I'm always adult wondering, stuff. Like, what mistake am I making that oh, I no. didn't even realize I was making? That's why I hate, like, going anywhere. Like, like when you have to go to, like, a government building to, like, deal with who knows what. And it's like, do I have everything I need? Or am I going to, like, I'll, like, bring way too much stuff. Because I should, like, that is even slightly related. And then I'll look at, like, none of it. Because I just don't know what I need. But I don't want to, like, fuck up and not bring the right stuff because I can't tell and like everything's like I, everything's always more complicated than I'm than I, than I think it is and so I just over I just over complicate it and just I, I, I have to get a real yeah. a real ID because now you yeah, can't travel get, yeah, without a real, a real ID, ID but now I'm scared because the 
COVID and because the DMV is probably crazy. Yeah, they made the real ID because you have to get a, you have to get like a photo, don't you? Like I think they did like the real ID deadline like during the worst year to have to have to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh. See, this is the kind of stuff that is like the stress. You never escape it. You think school's gonna be the end of your stress? Yeah, right. You just have to keep yeah. living in it forever. So I think that school like disproportionately stresses people out for reasons that just aren't worth it. <laughs> like it stresses you out in an unnecessary way in many cases. Just like how it also like I think we talked about this before, but just the way that like the grading system's also trash because it grades you along the way and like the parts of your grade you did in the past can't change. So even if you end the class having learned everything, the fact that you didn't know you didn't get things right on a test like twenty five percent of the way into this class will still like permanently affect your score. And it's like that's not helpful. Well, <laughs> if, then, if it doesn't accurately reflect my knowledge at the end, then it's not really succeeding in being a rating of how well I know the thing. It, it can also promote like a defeatist attitude because if you get to a, a certain point throughout the year where you're like, oh, there's no way I can I, that I can pass this class now, and, you, and mm -hmm. you come to that realization, then you won't try the rest of the year because it's like, well, I have to retake this class anyway, and I'm yep. sure of it now. And it's like, what do you do with those, like, those poor kids who like get 75% of the way through the year and realize that they have no hopes of actually passing this class? Like, how do you get them to actually be, to care about the content for the rest of the class? I don't know. Now, if only they'd be grounded in reality. <laughs> What's that thing they say about dreams and poets? Uh, probably a lot of things, Vela. <laughs> be specific. Um, There's so many poems things. Poems are just songs that no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> And if and if you don't if you don't pay attention then they'll starve to death and that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Or sad socks. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Can I ask you a serious question? Go for it, ginger boy. What was your world like? The one you came from? <sighs> you know, I don't think anyone has asked me that since I've been here. Wow. I try not to think about my old reality, but it really wasn't all that bad. Things are mostly the same. We had more cows, though. Lots of cows. And the music? Different. Your metal is our pop. Isn't that weird? That sounds better. <laughs> I like that more, to be honest. Are you, saying the, the, are you saying the two of them were switched? Or that, like, that's the intensity level? <laughs> Like, it's like um, that's much of a, that much of an escalation. I, th I got I thought she meant it switch. Like when you go to like shop at like a TJ Maxx, and over the radio they play metal instead of like Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> My mother would love your thrash metal. We also didn't say the '90s. We called it the end times. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's ominous. <laughs> we all joked that 2000 would be the end of the world. Uh, people do that here too. Or that end. Well. This is gonna sound weird, but we don't look at death the same way. In this reality, death is like giving up or making a mistake. How can you fault someone for dying? We all publicly acknowledge that when someone dies, you're sad for yourself, not for them. That, and... What is it? We can call our dead. When my grandmother passed away, I was 12. And call them on the phone? Is that what they mean? Yeah, I think that's what I've that means. I've spoken to her once a month for the past 12 years. What? There are phones, special phones. You put in money, dial the social security number of your loved one, and for three minutes you can speak to them. You dial the social security number? Hmm. <laughs> they must have like... Did they have like longer social security numbers? Um, I guess... Yeah, because it's supposed to be off by one number. Because it's three digits, two digits, four digits. As opposed to three, three, four in a phone number. Oh, I guess there's like nine. Is it nine digits to a social security number? So I guess. You no, 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 it's not. It's three, two, four. That is so nine. nine. Yeah, <laughs> wait. What? No. So I guess. No, yeah, yeah, but a phone number has. I'm thinking like a nine digit. Ten. Phone number has ten. <laughs> well, phone number has seven if it's just yeah, not an area code, but then yeah, ten there. But the, um, I was thinking about like, uh, whether the, the amount pans out. 
But I guess nine digits would be like up to. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I mean, but Doesn't but because couldn't you only have three hundred million? Uh, you could only have a. a oh wait, no. I think you could have nine hundred ninety-nine million different social security cards. So I uh, so I guess yeah, you could uh, you could fit the entire American population three times in in that number of digits. But you'd have to recycle them every every generation because uh, you run out after a few generations. Do they recycle social security numbers now? I don't. How do they work? Probably. Otherwise, because like, there's like what three hundred, there's like three hundred million Americans, right? And I think the digit plays out that it'd be nine 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 nine. So you could have nine hundred ninety nine million different social security numbers. So that uh, the current population is a third of that. So I feel like they'd run out. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so you can talk to them about anything, with one exception. Under no circumstances are you allowed to ask about where they are and how they're feeling. Otherwise, you die. <laughs> if you do, they lose their phone privileges forever, and you have a 10-year hold on your account. Oh, Jesus. It's like you killed them. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like killing them. Some people will do that oh, on purpose. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, if you hate them, you can do that yeah, to them. Yeah, that's like some poon poon shit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I hate my mother. I'm going to call her and ask her how she's doing. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> oh. You could just not For call real? them ever. That'd just be yes. nicer. And we never dream. I didn't know about dreams when I first came here. This is way more differences than I thought there'd be between realities. I thought it would be like, you have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Women grow mustaches. I had my first dream the night before I met you. Must be fate. Oh we my gosh, shut up. Oh. Shut up. I come from. Fate isn't real anyway. Fate is not real. Fate isn't real here. But the concept of fate. Is the concept of fate is stupid. But let's fucking, you're so fucking <laughs> That's self That's defeatist. Informed, Speaking self, of defeatist. So fucking absorbed, Alex. Jesus. I think we never put ourselves in that sort of box. You take away your own freedom by even pretending things like that might exist. Yeah, it's, you if you become a shitty person, you'll say it was your fate to be a shitty person. What was it like? <laughs> I don't have the talent with words to explain it. It's something you should see for yourself. What? Leave my body? I don't think I could ever. Maybe not, but... Okay, look at it this way. Before I traveled the soul space, I was a different person. Someone who got hurt by someone. Someone who believed they were loved unconditionally. When I was out there, I realized unconditional love exists, but only as something to strive for. It's just a concept. There's no way to actually put it into practice. We can say we love someone unconditionally and we can act like we do, but it's not to judge people for what they did to you or someone else. To accept someone for being human. Accept someone for being human? <laughs> I know what you mean, but isn't that funny? Coming from a human? We're all human. We all have flaws, we all hurt each other, but is that the thing to be fixated on? I mean, accepting people for being human is accepting their flaws. Alex, this isn't complicated. This is a really normal concept. And I do believe unconditional love exists. Uh, you've never been in love. Well, I, I do you, believe... What he, about? Was, he was just thinking he's never been in love ever at all. And Wait. he's like, but unconditional love, totally real. No, but unconditional love... Because I've watched Disney movies. What about like, okay, like, like unconditional love isn't romantic necessarily. It could be like your family. Like you're like a mother, I think, not always, but oftentimes will unconditionally his love their children. His mom has unconditional love, apparently. Yeah, because she fucking paid she for his college. Everything. Even though he he went for extra years, if she pointed out. It's when are you like, gonna to go out and get? When are you gonna go out and get groceries, Alex, or do a laundry? When are you gonna have unconditional wear, love for your mom? Wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> have you felt it before then? So what if I have? What? From who? What's her name? Mom. I don't know. It's just, I had this dream. That doesn't mean it exists, Alex. Loved People, oh my fucking god. People dream about a lot of things that aren't real. Loved my flaws and loved my mistakes as much as they loved the things worth making me loved. Is that so hard to believe? <laughs> Sounds like a dream. So, who was she? Rory. Spit it out. Was it Sammy Park? No, I don't think so. I don't Maybe know. <laughs> Maybe it was you. Maybe it was the android in the van. The whole three women in the world. Maybe it was all three of you as one being. 
The important thing is it's not Chandra. <laughs> not a, not a candidate. I think you're a lazy ass half the time, so I don't think I'm the one to love you unconditionally. But yes, keep chasing the missing girl who entered the soul space. I'm sure when you finally find her, she'd love you unconditionally. Hey, that's not fair. Also, Sammy is out there. She isn't in the soul space. I can, I can feel her out there. How? What? Hmm. Maybe you're feeling her out there in the soul space. Maybe. So, Vela, what the hell are we going to do about finding the android? She's trapped in the van and... Calm down. You She's haven't checked out this in 1999 today, have you? Rory made a thread pointing out a mysterious van in all the most recent and believable posts. I actually did check today. Yeah, no, nah, that's funny. They didn't <laughs> think you would. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't see anything new necessarily, but you know, this long thread and well, it's not sorted well. Ta talking to Vela probably made it show up. And here's a strange one for you. In one of the photos of Sammy Park, there's a van. He asked everyone who sees the van to reply to the thread and post a location so we can check it out. Wait, are you serious? How did I not see this? Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, even I'm wondering that. Okay, I, I need to go back and check. Wow, this is perfect. So that means she's around here then. Well, I mean, vans have wheels, so it could be far away, but yeah, it could be. We're gonna need a car. How else can we catch up to it? Do you have a car? No. You're forgetting I've lived in this reality for a year. How do you expect me to even have a license? I don't even have a social security number, and I make minimum wage at an arcade. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if mom would let me borrow hers. You yeah, don't have a car either, Alex. Claudio has a van. You could ask him if he'd drive you around. He's a cool guy. He's a bit older than us, so it makes sense. I think he's in his late 20s. You should spend some time with him and Chandra, really get to know them first. Why'd you say it that way? He's a bit older than us, so it makes sense. Yeah, but like, you guys like, are all old enough to have a car. Are you explaining why the plot makes sense, author? Like, <laughs> that, that's a weird way for a human in the story to say that. He's a bit older than us, so it makes sense. But, yeah. like, but like, you can be 16 and have a car. So I don't yeah. know why him being older than you guys would make a difference. Yeah, like, a, you know, the, only, the main people that don't have cars in the United States live in really big cities. This area is super spread out. Like it's where you'd have a car. Yes, I, I know. I know people where we live who don't have a car, and I don't know how they function because the amount of money you would spend on like things like Uber would make it not even worth like driving to and from work. Yeah, but well, it's like. But I know people. I know people from public transport. Yeah, but, but even then, it's like that. Well, that's a pain a in the ass. It's a bad year for buses, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not usually a good idea to ask for rides unless you really know someone. At least where I yes, come so from. go make friends with them just so you can use them for something. Yeah, good <laughs> idea. You know, this is gonna sound a bit weird. Lately, I felt like I don't even know my own reality. The more I think about it, nothing is as I remembered. When I was a kid, things felt different. Pre-college Alex's life was so much more simple. I never noticed all these things, all these strange, strange things. That's how I felt right before I left my reality. Maybe you're starting to get it, whatever it is. <laughs> you're finally getting it, Alex. You're growing as a person. You've got whatever the f fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs>